Nautilus Terminal is exactly what you'd think it would sound like. It is basically the Nautilus GNOME file manager, but with a built-in terminal. Now, other distributions have these terminals built into their file manager as well, um, but GNOME does not have one, uh, at least out of the box. So I'm going to show you how you can quickly install it. So open a terminal. This is GNOME 40, by the way. I'm using an extension called Vertical Overview, and I will leave that in the description. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Nautilus Terminal GitHub page. I will leave that in the description as well. Um, and find the distribution that you are using within their README instructions. So if you are using Arch, it is simple as just installing it and quitting Nautilus. Um, but if you're using Fedora, yeah, you can follow these instructions. I'm using a Debian-based distribution, Ubuntu. So we are just going to install all of these packages first. It's going to install Python uh, packages along with the dconf editor. So we are going to copy this put it into a terminal, and let those packages install. Once that is finished, we are going to install Nautilus Terminal with pip, and we're just going to copy and paste that into here. Now it is going to, this actually happened to me the last time before. We don't need to install this uh, at all. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny, but we're just going to cancel that. And we have successfully built Nautilus terminal. The last thing we need to do is sudo Nautilus install, uh, sudo Nautilus terminal install system. And it has been successfully installed on the system. So now we just need to quit out of Nautilus and if we were successful, we should be able to open a terminal, I mean, open a window, and voila. There is our terminal inside of Nautilus. And we can enable and disable this by pressing F4, and there you go. This is exactly what it sounds like. There is no limitations here because it is quite literally just a terminal <laughs> inside of your Nautilus shell. We can, uh, let's, we can create a folder and we can cd into that folder and we can create a we can create a, a file in there so we can and there you go and then uh, along with this it will also as you open a folder it will cd into that directory as well and uh, that's what i find really cool is that uh just like any other uh, terminal uh, terminal file manager uh, or file manager with the terminal, you know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of good use case scenarios here with this. Um, we can right click preferences and it will open the dconf editor, uh, Nautilus terminal, and we can, of course, reload that. We can uh, set a lot of different different customizations. We can change the color. Uh, we can put the Nautilus terminal on the bottom. So let's see if that actually worked. And it puts it on the very bottom, um, which I personally think probably looks a lot nicer. I think that's the way that um, Dolphin does on KDE. Um, but with uh, that being said, with that brief explanation on how to install it and the small little overview of how it works, I hope that you guys are having a good, uh, hope, I hope that this video was of help to you, I hope you are having a good day, and thank you for watching.